hop right into it. It's going to be in all signs. I'm going to start with the air signs, Libra, and then I will go around the wheel accordingly through all of the elements, just, you know, sign by sign. I'm just mixing it up a little bit this week. Short, sweet, and to the point as possible, hopefully. A little clarification as possible because I'm, I'm on a time restriction today, but I want to get the messages out in a timely manner. So, um... If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, check in your rising or Venus placement. Keep in mind, time and energy can both be fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. So these events play out whenever they've played out, even if it's not the next seven days. So um, might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, might not. Cross watchers are welcome here. Place yourself where you see fit. Either way. So um, uh, a couple of quick things. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. If it's not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. New or old, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you're new here and think we might vibe, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That would be super awesome of you. Um, you can hit the like button at any time. Returning visitors, thanks so much for coming back. It's a pleasure to see you here. And it all helps the channel, it all helps it grow, and it all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the message. So, that being said, we're going to tip down and invoke and get her done. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my collective. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring the collective to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. All right, we're reading with uh, Santa Muerte today, clarifying with the tattoo. We're starting out with Libra. Helps with the timestamp. Okay. Woo! Couple quick shuffles for Libra. We're going to get them on the table. Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords reversed. Hmm. Something's returning with truth. See how he's sitting on the edge of his coffin like he just woke up? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That's strange. Events that may be playing out this week. Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a game changer. Somebody's coming in with an apology. And I kind of feel like you're feeling, you know what? Um, I think enough time has gone by. But, but, but. Outcome. King of Swords. Make or break. Knight of Swords. This is interesting. Why is it happening? The sun, the two of swords, and the ace of cups reversed. <laughs> you made a decision not to take a cup. Or...
I'm feel okay, there was a decision, a cup wasn't taken, or a cup was spilled. Something didn't get started because you were already in a good place. I feel like somebody's returning to try to offer you Did your cup get spilled? That's this is an apology. And this is too little too late. I need clarity. We're gonna get just a couple cards of clarity. One of the Stasa Cups reversed. Eight of coins reversed. You invested nothing into this. Either you didn't or they didn't. There wasn't energy or time or resources to invest in it. It got cut out. This is scissors. This is scissors. Something got cut. Huh. All right. What's the two of pentacles? <clears throat> Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands wants what she wants when she wants it. The devil. I had a funny feeling the devil would show his face. They feel bound to you. They feel this is a deep connection. This is deep. One of the Page of Pentacles. Just one, because I'm already feeling it's too little too late. Three of Wands. You waited long enough for this apology. One in the seven manacles reversed. The tower, yeah. Yeah. I hate to send down this little house that you built for yourself in your mind, but this is not happening. This isn't happening. King of Swords, one on the King of Swords, just one. Just one, just one, just one. I feel like you're magic, making a logical head over heart decision to very much guard yourself and guard your emotions. You're like sword raised. You don't want this. Knight of Cups. Open to the communication. You might talk about it. Sun, acknowledgement of the connection. The Fool, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Wands. It's almost like a vibe of, yeah, I feel like you're just coming in to confuse me and try to get victory out of this. You're on guard. The Make or Break is the Knight of Swords, one on the Knight of Swords. It's all about how you approach this offer. I feel like they're coming in quick and they're coming in quick with truth, but I'm still feeling like, okay, it's a little too late. You didn't have energy to invest in this, and that's why we cut each other out of our lives. Temperance reversed, yeah. I don't see you being open or perceptive to this, and I don't see you mincing words about that. I don't. Get advice. Ace of Wands upright, Five of Swords reversed. Six of Wands upright, Eight of Wands reversed. Don't.
Don't feed something that already defeated you once. Don't feed somebody's ego. Don't feed somebody's ego. Queen of Wands or verse Ten of Wands. Don't feed somebody's ego. Too unreal. I don't think this guy has the purest of intentions. I really don't. Guy, girl, whatever. I, I, it's like he waited to come up out of the grave until you were good and you were happy to come in and try to muck crap up. Magician and the Ace of, and the Magician and the Eight of Wands. Seven of Swords with a Fortune. King of Cups, King of Wands. You gotta be careful with this. This may have been something that you like begged the universe for. But as time has gone by, I don't, I, I think, I think time went by and you just allowed it to close out and you took it for what it was. I think you need to leave it be. I really think you need to leave it be. But that's just me. I don't think they have the purest of intentions. I think if I think if you give any energy into this, you're just going to be feeding somebody's ego. And I don't think they gave any energy into it, and that's why you cut it out to begin with. So, that being said, Libra, do what you're going to do with it. Choose to feed it. Feed it. If not, don't. Aquarius. Three more. Oh, wow. They're like, stop shoveling. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Thank you. Page pencils reversed. communication. Something went stagnant. Something is stagnant. You feel like you need to apologize, but you're not sure how. Your apology has been blocked. See the events playing out. Ace of Cups reversed, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands, it's reversed. There's a reason why this is being blocked. There's a reason. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. Yeah. It's 
This is like destiny at play, guys. They could have already been in a committed relationship. Somebody already here may have been committed already. I, I don't know. There is a three. But it couldn't come together. Something couldn't be expressed. Cup is still empty at the beginning of the week. Something's not moving forward at the end of the week. Something's finally closing out. Closure's coming. How do I get this person to unblock me? Asks Aquarius. Or place yourself wherever you see fit. Someone could be trying to apologize to you and you blocked them. One on the Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. Seeing the light. One on the Hierophant. Really? If you insist, Ace of Wands reversed, Magician reversed, this cannot manifest, this cannot strike. You see the light on why this week. It all makes sense. Make or break is the Eight of Wands reversed. Whether communication can go through, one in the eight of wands reversed. I feel like you blocked somebody. Two of coins, knight of cups reversed. I feel like you still love this person, you still have feelings for this person, but it cannot move forward. You're not going to let it. I feel like the door's closed. And I don't think you're moving. Is that Knight of Cups is still reversed. I don't know what happened, but damn. Okay, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Holy Moses. Okay. You need to give yourself time to heal. You need to move on from the drama and the conflict. Two of Wands, Five of Swords. You need to cut your losses. Chariot and the Four of Swords, you need to move on and you need to heal and you need to process. I don't know what happened. I don't think you're interested in letting this person back in. They may already be in a committed relationship. Four of Wands and Death. Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups reversed. King of Cups reversed and the Emperor. A lot of upside down cups here. Do not restart something if there is still confusion and there is a lack of clarity. No. 
If there hasn't been change in the situation, you're not going to get a steady foundation. You need to maintain control of your emotions. I know what in your heart you may want to do, but I don't think it's wise to listen to your heart right now. Especially if this person's still in a committed relationship. And they couldn't give to you in the past what you wanted. And it couldn't manifest and it couldn't strike. So if you decide to walk back into this, you need to make damn sure you know exactly what the situation is. Okay? Okay? Just throwing that out there. You can accept an apology, but I wouldn't let it go any farther than that. Unless you know exactly what the deal is. Okay. Gemini. more for Gemini. Nine of Cups. Double reversed. Inner peace and happiness. Your challenge for the week is disconnecting from something that is potentially toxic. Could be habits, could be people, could be stuff. Drug addictions. Toxic behavior, toxic people. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords reversed, and the Six of Wands reversed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Somebody's getting blocked. What are you waiting on? Why is it happening? Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups reversed. Okay. I feel like there was a, a return to try to regain balance with someone. What's the outcome? Two of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups in the upright. Being left at the crossroads, it all depends on what you do with this cup. What do you do with this new start in love? Huh, okay. I'm curious, what is this Knight of Swords reversed about? It's the Knight of Swords reversed for Gemini. Queen of Wands. Oh shit. It might not even be blocked. Is it lack of communication? Nice. 
Knight of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. You missed each other. Huh. That's hot and heavy. I don't know if this Knight of Wands is you or them. Okay. I mean, you missed each other. That's why you came back. I'm looking at this devil. Inner happiness, inner peace. I don't think whoever you're dealing with is really happy right now. I think you're struggling with detaching from something. About midweek, there's a miscommunication. Misunderstanding. Ten of Swords. Okay. Ending? Ending to something painful? Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Re cooperation. I feel like change the game. Plan B. Eight of Swords. Five of Wands reversed. Overthinking. Trying to avoid conflict. How do I how do I avoid conflict? How do I how do I get how do I get this person to cooperate with me again? I feel like they're calling it endgame at the end of the week. Or the middle of the week. I don't know. It's just like what? I don't think you want to call it M. I think this is a misunderstanding due to lack of communication. What's the Seven of Pentacles here? Chair reversed. Car's not moving. The car's not moving. Hmm. I think you need to decide whether you want to refill somebody's cup, or you want them to fill your cup, what you do with this new start. Because you end up at another crossroads at the end of the week because of a miscommunication, why things aren't moving. Somebody's not communicating here. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's get your advice. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, and Magician reversed. Ten of Wands, Three of Wands reversed. A lot of endings here. I think either way you need to charge forward on your path, even if it doesn't manifest the way you want it to manifest. You need to keep pushing forward.
You need to clearly decide what's going to make you happy. Chariot reversed, three of cups reversed. With or without this person. King of swords reversed, seven of cups reversed, ten of cups reversed in the sun. You need to clearly decide what's going to make you happy. But you can't remain so emotionally closed off either. Gemini, I don't know what the hell just happened on my table, but okay. Whoa. I think y'all just need to, like, talk more or something. I don't know. Scorpio. Might have to light up some sage here soon. That was super heavy. Three more for Scorpio. The moon reverse and the queen of swords in the reverse. Things are being illuminated, Scorpio. And your challenge is... Might be your attitude. Okay. Mm. Knight of wands, eight of swords, the tower. Something isn't moving. Something becomes consuming. Sudden change. Why is it happening? Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. The slow growing seed. Sadness. Hmm. Well. Moving forward. Make or break is how long you stay hung up. I think somebody held on to something a little bit too long.
Why the Ace of Pentacles? Justice reversed. King of Swords. Why justice reversed? Something didn't grow. Somebody could have been having ego, legal issues with a baby mama or a baby daddy. <sighs> Something to do with family. Possible air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The seed. Slow growing seed. It, the potential was there. And I think you held on to that p potential. Why the five of cups? Four of Pentacles reversed, two of Cups reversed, sadness letting go, accepting. See this maze? This is like an insane Five of Cups. There's a maze in this inside this person's head. And they're sitting in a lake. This is like confusion, trying to sort things out. I feel like somebody had to sort something out. And the other person just kind of let it go and let it disconnect because they didn't want to hold on to it anymore. They held on to the potential until they couldn't hold on to it anymore until it became so consuming. I think this week things are going to be illuminated, but you got to watch your attitude. The challenge is your attitude toward the situation. One on the tower. Okay, I'll take two. Two of swords reversed, ace of wands reversed. Change is coming. The tower's coming down. It's a five, fifteen. The new start comes once the tower comes down and the dust settles. I feel like this is a decision that's out of your hands. I feel like the tower's going to drop, Scorpio. Whether or not you like it, the tower's going to drop. By the Eight of Swords. Ten of Swords. So you're anxious about the ending? You're anxious about the sun shining again? Or are you anxious because you ended this already? Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Wow. Eight, nine, ten. Huge Gemini energy. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. Why are the Knight of Wands reversed? Ace of swords. Lots of swords, holy shit. Lots of swords, Scorpio. It's like a new start that can't be moved forward until something moves. It's right here and it can't move until this ends. This can't end until you get through the anxiety and the universe brings, <laughs> just brings the tower down takes it out of your hands. 
It's coming whether or not you like it. How you approach it is your attitude. How you leave it in the make or break is how long you stay hung up. How long you let yourself hang in the gallows over it because there's forward movement whether or not you like it. I feel like this is something you've already let go of. But have you really? I think once it's illuminated, once the truth comes out of the situation, you'll be able to move forward and end the cycle and just let the tower finally fall and finally rise up out of the ashes of it. Three of Wands reverse, Two of Wands. Three of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Swords reversed. Don't hang out at the crossroads forever. The world and the Eight of Pentacles. Don't hang out at the crossroads forever. There's nothing at the crossroads. New foundations can't be built until this new start comes. And this new start can't come until you finally let go and allow the cycle to end and put your energy into other things. And it starts reversed at the bottom of the deck. You gotta come out of your anxiety. Six of Wands and the Lovers. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You're entitled to happiness. You realize that, right? You're entitled to happiness. In order for new starts to begin, things need to come to fruition. They, things need to end. You can't start new things until old things finally end. You need to find inner happiness and inner joy, and that has to come from within. That cannot come from an outside source. Queen of Coins at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. You the catch, and you know it, and you are worth happiness. But you can't stay hung up. You gotta let it go. Fully and totally, you gotta let it go. Maybe once things are illuminated for you, maybe you finally will be able to let it go. Okay. That was super strange, but okay. Pisces. Oh my goodness. I fell apart. Justice wanted to come out though. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Three more for Pisces. One. Two of Pentacles reversed. I'm hearing one more. Justice and the Two of Pentacles. I think the idea here is balance, Pisces. We'll see if they come back out. Judgment. Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Could be something trying to resurrect. I don't know, though. Feels like something's coming to an end, but you haven't moved on from it yet. The challenge... So you haven't moved on completely from it yet. That Eight of Cups is reversed. Resurrection return. All right, now I'm curious. Page of Cups reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles upright. Huh. 
Oh, okay. Is there more than one? Oh, snap. <gasps> okay, why is it happening? Justice reversed, two of pentacles reversed, and the eight of swords. Well. Indecision, indecision, imbalance, imbalance, because you can't have three people in a situation. You're dealing more you're dealing with more than one person. Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, reversed. Oh, snap. You may not have even been dealing with both of these people at the same time. But you're still torn between two people. Two swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. The impossible decision. Alright, that's going to be part of your advice later. I just thought that was kind of funny. Okay. Talk to me. One on the page of cups. Just one. Not 20. It is the page of cups reversed at the top card, though. So, huh. We're going to take that one. I'm going to ask for one more. Somebody's not speaking how they feel or saying how they feel. They could be just watching from afar. One more on the page of cups reversed. Two of Swords. Making a decision whether they want to come forward or not. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Four of Cups reversed. Straight up ignoring the cup. Or they feel like they're going to be ignored. One more. One more. The chariot. Perhaps there's distance there. Queen of Wands won't move forward. The distance is too great. They can't come forward or won't come forward because the distance is too great. One of the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Wands reversed. Queen of Cups. This is you, Pisces. Hmm. Not waiting around for nobody to say nothing, loving yourself first. So two people wanting to resurrect something with you and neither one of them going through with it? Can I get one on the why is it happening cluster, please? Empress reversed. It wasn't going to grow. It's like dumping too much soil on something. You're just going to kill it.
Nine of Wands reversed. You threw in the towel. Maybe you threw in the towel because there was so much anxiety going on. Knight of Swords. Maybe you had to come in with the truth. All right. One of this Knight of Cups. One of this Knight of Cups for Pisces for the conclusion of the week. Ace of Cups. New start. Taking a new cup from a new person. The make or break, it's the Four of Wands reverse. One of the Four of Wands reverse. Lovers reversed. You make a break as an unsteady foundation because you couldn't make a decision. Because you're having a hard time making a decision. So, you need to make a decision. Double reversed. Maybe time to disconnect from some toxic behaviors. Sun and the Two of Swords reversed. Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed, Two of Wands reversed. Don't stay stuck at the crossroads about something that didn't grow. Don't let somebody bring you back to the crossroads just because you missed them. You have to do, you have to make the decision that is going to make you happy. Ultimately. Don't let somebody pull the wool over your eyes and put blinders over your eyes. Don't let somebody play you emotionally like that. Don't. You don't have the energy to put into a connection. Don't get something started. Eight of Cups, so what did I just say? you got to disconnect and move on from toxic BS, even if it's your own. Nine of Coins, Nine of Cups. You need to be good in and of yourself. You need to be good in and of yourself. Self-love, self-worth, independence. The Magician and the Sun. Magician's in the reverse. Don't let people play on your emotions. Full reversed, death reversed. Don't jump back into old situations that are like long dead. New, new, new. Cancer. cancer. Lack of healing, lack of forward movement.
lack of self-worth, somebody not saying what needs to be said. Resolution to the pain at the end of the week. Okay, that's progress. Why is it all happening? Eight of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, Eight of Swords reversed. Lack of communication, lack of forward movement, an empty cup, bringing yourself out of a state of anxiety. Five of Cups reversed, Nine of Pentacles. Reverse neediness and codependency. Okay. You gotta end your own pain, Cancer. You have to end your own pain. I see it coming with this Ten of Swords. The sun finally shining again. But. And I see you coming out of a state of sadness. But. The make or break is your independence. Something didn't move forward in the past. A cup either got spilt. Something didn't get started. Why the Eight of Swords reversed? The lovers. And the ace of cups reversed. Okay. It's acknowledgement of a connection. It's a deep soul connection. But the cup has been spilled. You came out of a state of anxiety about it. That, that's acceptance. That's acceptance. The cup's never going to be full. Okay. So why, why haven't you healed from it? Why the pen, queen of pentacles reversed? That's a lack of self-worth. Ten of swords reversed. Because it still fucking hurts. Okay, I feel that. It still hurts. But you gotta shake your own swords up. Page of Wands reversed. The Fool. Sometimes you need your own beginning. Without somebody else's approval or okay. Whether or not you get that communication, you have to move forward. You got to shake your own swords out. Don't let other people dictate your self-worth. What the fuck are you doing? Pardon my French. <sighs> One on this Nine of Pentacles, please. It's whether or not you accept change. You control your own balance. Somebody else can't do that for you. You have to do it for yourself. Six of coins reverse. Stop lulling over what someone else didn't give to a connection. Start giving back to yourself. You accepted it. Now you gotta heal. Shake swords up. You gotta heal. Hermit, bottom of the deck, find the light. Ten of cups, bottom of the deck, find your happiness.
three of cups, ten of cups. Nine of swords, reverse three of pentacles. The star and the ten of wands reversed. You gotta drop your burden. You gotta allow yourself to heal. You have to let this go. You have to find your happiness again. Find the happy happiness and the joy and the bliss within. Come out of your anxiety and build the stable foundations that you want. Drop your sticks and heal. Hermit and the Queen of Coins. It's within you, honey. You are the catch and you need to see that within yourself. Don't let somebody else take that away from you. So it didn't work out. Death and the Nine of Coins reversed. A change has to begin within you. You're worth it, baby. Knight of Wands and the Hierophant. You need to develop a better relationship with yourself. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You want to have better relationships with other people, you need to develop a better relationship with yourself. You need to be committed to you and your own forward movement and your own growth. Shake the sticks out. Heal. Allow the sun to shine again in your life. You got this. All right. I need, I need a minute, so... Next up is going to be Sag. I'm going to pause... Oh my gosh, so many notifications. Okay, so Sagittarius. I brewed some coffee. <laughs> Took a little break, stretched a little bit, so got a glass of water. Rolling for Sag. All right, three more for Sag. Nine of Cups came out. Now I gotta shuffle it back in, see if it comes back out. Are you in a place of happiness, Sag? We'll see. Five of Wands reversed. Um, are you just trying to avoid conflict at this point? <laughs> This is a great five of wands. It really is because um, um, I don't quite know how to explain this, but he just lit a match. So you're just trying to avoid conflict at this point. Seven of pentacles. Your challenge is patience. Sag, what the hell is going on? Five of swords. Two of Wands reversed, and the Fool. Oh my. I feel like you're in the all or nothing. Whew. Somebody coming at you with swords this week? If somebody's coming at you, or you're coming at somebody like all or nothing. Back at the crossroads, not sure which way to go, and I see the fool at the end here. It's all about new starts, new journeys, packing up and moving on, huh? Okay. Why is it happening? Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, just trying to maintain balance. 
possibly things changing in a situation. We'll get a clarifier in a second. Um, lack of communication. Possibly somebody just watching for a lack of forward movement. Something's not moving forward. You're not getting what you want. Are you being slightly childish and jaded right now? Queen of Wands in the reverse can be a little bit childish. I want what I want, and I want it now, and I'm not getting it, so I'm going to be all angry. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What's the outcome look like? Change. The make or break is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. How you choose to move this forward. Okay. Now I need clarity, Sag. Not 20 cards. Thanks, though. Apparently because they flipped and did not show themselves, the universe said they weren't supposed to be in that particular position. <laughs> so it's like, put those back. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Oh, my. Without intention. I'll lay them over here. Something's got to give or something's getting cut out. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but... Give me one on this two of wands reversed. What are you all hung up at the crossroads about? King of Cups. Someone being emotionally aloof. Okay. Why the fool? So you're going to start off and go do something new because you didn't get what you want. Sag. You know you can't always have it your way, right? I'm a Sag son. I can say that. You cannot always get your way. Why the five of swords? Before you go giving somebody an ultimatum, you need to stop and think. You need to exercise patience right now, Sag. This can be a good death in a situation or a bad death in a situation. It's your call. How you choose to move forward from here. Intention. I'm leaving temperance, putting the rest back. Exorcise patience. Before you go cutting things out of your life. Before you drop the sword, you need to stop and think. Why well, is two of pentacles here? Pentacles is extremely slow moving energy. I feel like this is two pentacles that had a very hard time coming together due to lack of forward movement and lack of communication. Nave of coins, even slower energy. 
slow moving energy. It is energy that requires patience. And patience, Sag, I love you. It is not your strong suit. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Don't go causing your own imbalance. Can I get one on this death cycle, please? One on death. Three of coins. This is the building of a foundation. This is good change if you exercise patience. One of the Knight of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands. It's about how you communicate and how you move forward. Okay. Okay. Let's get your advice, Sag. King of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. Five of Pentacles reversed and Temperance. This is about your patience and how you approach the situation. It can go one of two ways. You have to come from a place of love, not a place of anger. If you want this to work. You have to be patient. You have to invite positive energy into this and expel all the negative energy. Okay? Death upright. Six of cups reversed. Four of pentacles reversed. Five of swords. Nine of swords reversed. Seven of cups. You need to explore all options when dealing with this and don't get into that anxious place. You need to not get all up in your head about this. You need to learn to let certain things go before it gets to the avoidable argument. Before it gets to the bad blood of the Six of Cups, you need to allow for positive change in a situation. Because if you allow the Six of Cups reverse to take control, this death cycle goes in a bad way. If you want positive change in this situation, you want it to go the way you want it to go, you have to exercise patience. Okay? Okay. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck, or it's going to end up in conflict and separation. Patience, 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 Sag, patience. Aries. Three more for Aries. Hmm, the devil decided it wanted to fly out for you, Aries. See if it comes back. You separating from something toxic or are you bound to something that you're trying to separate from? Are you still bound to it? Are you dealing with a Capricorn? What's up with that? Engaging in some toxic activities? God, I hope not. 
One of my best friends is in Aries. Seven of Cups reversed and the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, confusion. Lack of energy. Lack of putting in. Huh. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Not putting your challenge is how much energy you have you have to give to something. Okay. Justice reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Empress reversed. Oh shoot. Somebody feeling like they're not good enough? Okay. Why is it happening? Distance. Distance. Lack of apology, stagnation. To get a clarifier on that Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Nine of Cups reversed. Your make or break is how you approach your own happiness what your own happiness means to you. There's still love in this situation. There's still a lot of love here. How much do you love yourself? Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups reversed. I need one on this Justice reversed. Shuffle to get everybody hanging back out here. Why justice reversed? Imbalance, a uh, legal matter. Six of Swords reverse Ten of Coins. Okay. Staying in something, returning to something that's not fair because of money? Okay. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? Trying to keep the home together. Okay. What is King of Pentacles reversed here? Thank you. Three cups, two of swords. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, shoot. I don't like that. Ace of Wands. Why is the Empress reversed here? This is like baby mommy, baby dad. The world. One more. The swords reversed. Oh no. This 
one showed itself to me. I'm going to put the rest back in. Oh, Aries. Oh, Aries. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if that this world card means something's coming to a complete end or bullshit cycles are ending so new cycles can start. There is an Ace of Wands over here. Why is the Knight of Cups down here? She showed herself. Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands reversed. Oh, snap, Aries. This feels very behind the back. There was distance. Someone's traveling. Traveling. Why the Page of Pentacles reversed? Just one. Just one. Not a lot of card vomit, please. Just one. Queen of Swords. Oof. I feel like someone did something behind somebody else's back and someone found out. There was a new start here after a heartbreak, but I feel like it still lingers. It still lingers. Why the Ten of Wands up here? Seven Cups reversed. It's the confusion. It's the confusion. Someone's staying for money in an unbalanced situation. I feel like someone's pouring into the situation, pouring into the situation. Trying to keep it together, trying to keep it happy. Why one in the Ace of Wands? One in the Ace of Wands. Five of Cups, King of Coins upright. Processing the emotions, getting things back in the upright keeping things going, finding clarity, starting over, processing the emotions. Five cups, three cups, eight cups, eight cups. Moving forward, moving forward. Truth is going to come out at the end of the week about something. And it's your make or break is what you do with it. How much you love yourself. Wow. <sighs> Talk about an ass kicker. The sun and the temperance reversed. There's the devil. The devil and the king of cups. The world and the three of swords reversed.
You can't keep ignoring this forever. You can't. You can't avoid the heartbreak and the negative energy to save face. Eventually you have to se separate from the toxicities of this if you want it to end. It ha you can't hide how you feel about it just to save face. Seven of coins, eight of swords, two of cups, three of wands reversed, the magician, and the tower. This is like a giant elephant in the room. If you keep avoiding this, it's going to lead to disaster. If you want to manifest change, you can't keep avoiding this. This is not something you put off until tomorrow. Because the longer it sits there, the more anxious people get about it. This is like, the, Aries, this is like the weirdest reading I've ever done for you guys. Nine of Wands. Upright, six of Wands reversed. If you keep building up walls around it and avoiding it, you don't get victory out of it. Oh my God. It's going to end in disaster if you don't address the problem and deal with it. You're just avoiding it. Leo, Can I get a little sunshine and rainbows, please? Out of somebody, please? Leo, can it be you? Five of cups fell out. Huh? Sadness and despair. A maze inside the head. The processing of the emotions. All right, one more for Leo. We're throwing them down. Temperance. Eight of Pentacles upright. So the theme of the week is patience, positive energy, and things flowing. The challenge is putting work and effort into it. Ten of Wands, High Priestess reversed, Ace of Cups reversed. I think somebody's getting something off their chest this week. Somebody's ego may be affected, a cup may be spilled. There's that Five of Cups again. The Hermit, the King of Swords reversed, and the Five of Cups reversed is why it's all happening. How do you find the light from the inside of a coffin? That's internalization right there. Holy crap. I guess I've never really looked at that card before. overcome with emotion. Sometimes cups tip over if they're too full. Know what I'm saying? Sometimes cups tip over if they're too full. Four of cups reversed, lovers reversed. Oh, lovers upright. A choice to be made. Deciding not to take a cup, ignoring a cup, a choice to be made. 
Why is the Ten of Wands here? One quick shuffle. One on the Ten of Wands. One on the Ten of Wands. Four of Swords reversed. Unprocessed heartbreak. Somebody needing to get something off the chest and can't. Someone's restless and heavily burdened. One on the High Priestess reverse. Just one. Justice reverse. Oh, shoot. Deeply affected ego. Something is not fair. Possibly a secret coming out. One more. Ten of Cups. That's a completion. Why the Ace of Cups reversed one card? King of Coins reversed, Queen of Cups upright. No. King of Coins upright, Queen of Cups reversed. Top of the Ace of Cups reversed. All about money, money, money. It wasn't about how much you loved me, it was about what you could offer me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Wow. That's the choice you have to make. My heart was never in it. Whoa, I just heard my heart was never in it. Holy shit. Everything was fine until it wasn't. Oh, are we back here again? Everything was fine until it wasn't. Are we back here again, Leo? I'm hearing everything was fine until it wasn't. One of the five of cups reversed. Hermit reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. Self isolation because you didn't get what you want, you never process the emotions. One in the King of Swords reversed. I don't know if this is overflowing with emotion or bad attitude, maybe a little bit of both. Lovers, the three of coins and the nine of coins. Went off independently, built a new foundation with a new love. Lovers, lovers. Chose another option. Wow, Leo. One on this lovers. Seven of Swords reversed. Truth's coming out. Why the lovers over here for the make or break? Why the lovers? Why the lovers? Nine of Swords reversed. You gotta come out of that state of anxiety. Coming out of your head about it. Strength reversed, no longer holding back. I think all, all those thoughts that you've been harboring are going to come out. I think you may hand someone back their cup because it was never about love to begin with. Or 
the challenge is how much energy and attention you're giving this. How do you start the week with balance and harmony and you end the week with telling somebody where they can shove their cup? Wow. Leo, let's get your advice. This just took a weird left turn. <laughs> Queen of Swords reverse, seven of wands. King of Pentacles reverse, three of wands. Sorry, King of Pentacles upright, three of wands. Ace of Swords reverse, sun reversed. Where's your happiness lie? Where's your happiness lie? That's what you got to ask yourself. You got to cut the drama out. You have to stand up for what you want and cut out all the drama. Abundance is a slow moving process. It takes a minute to get up to that king level. You have to wait things out. It's best to wait for the right ship to come in. I feel like you gave and you gave and you gave and it was never about how much you love the, that you gave them. It was about how what you could offer them. Does that make sense? I feel like some of you may have just jumped into something without thinking because you were hurt. And inevitably you end up getting hurt again. So you really need to sort out and figure out what makes you happy before you jump into the next connection. Six of Wands reversed, Three of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed, Ace of Swords upright. Seven of Cups reversed, Ten of Swords. You need to sort through the confusion and let the sun shine again. The new start comes when you cut the BS out of your life. And don't, don't let a lack of victory and a lack of getting what you wanted stop the process of healing. Because it didn't work out this time and it didn't work out last time doesn't mean it's not going to work out next time. You just have to be extremely careful who you give your cups to, who you, feed, who you give your energy to. And why. Man reversed. King of Wands upright. Go forward on your path and don't stay hung up on the past. Cut yourself down out of the gallows, Leo. Cut yourself down out of the gallows. Wow. Capricorn. All right. A little earth going here. Okay. Three of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. A nine? Yeah. No, Nine of Cups separate. Right. 
lack of foundation being built, something not being sown. Challenge is happiness. Knight of Pentacles, strength reversed, the Hermit. Okay. Going inside, really deciding what you want, what is going to make you happy. Why is it all happening? Why is it all happening, Capricorn? Justice reversed, the Devil, and the Two of Wands reversed. Something you couldn't disconnect from kept you at the crossroads. With a fortune reversed in temperance, you need to approach this with patience. It's the energy you approach it with. You gotta deal with unfinished business this week. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. This is going to sound super weird. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to work out because that's not how they were supposed to work out. You're meant to go down a wrong path. Or, uh, I should, sorry, no such thing as a wrong path. If you're meant to go down a certain path, whether or not you want to go down that path, you're going to get sent down that path. It's called divine intervention. Sometimes you don't go down the path you don't want to go... Yeah, getting tongue-tied. Sometimes you don't go down the path you want to go down because the universe is protecting you from it. You have other shit to do before you can go down that path. You're not ready for that path. You gotta go down this path first. Both paths lead to the same place. Keep that in mind. I think that's what's happening here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Hey, one's reversed. Slow moving off or slow moving energy. No communication, not moving. Maybe you want to offer an apology and something's not moving with it. You want to build a foundation, something's not moving with it. World reversed, wheel of fortune in the upright. Unfinished business. This is the path you're supposed to go down. It's not this one. Isn't that what I just said? You watched me shuffle. You watched me shuffle. This is not the path you are supposed to go down. You need to go down this one first. Why is strength reversed here? Why is strength reversed here? Nine of coins reversed. Neediness, poverty, codependency. Something not getting started, you're drained, you're codependent, something didn't start. Why the hermit? Why the hermit? Four of Cups. The moon. Oh, the mystery of the moon. Could have something to do with the full moon, maybe.
I just sort of reversed, I'm not overthinking it. Going into hermit mode, but not so far down into hermit mode that it consumes you. But you're going to think this through. Which cup do I want? This is the path. I know it's not the path I want to go down, but I know it's the path I need to go down. I'd rather go down this path or one of these three paths. But this is the path I'm being handed. I don't know what's down this damn rabbit hole, but I got to go down it. Allowing yourself to be led and guided. This is about loving yourself. This is about trusting yourself. This is about knowing you have it in you. Your challenge is self-love and self-trust. Your make or break is the energy that you approach it with. You got unfinished business to tend to. Something that wasn't fair in the past, something that you're bound to, something that led you to the crossroads that you were at. I want to go down this path, but I got to go down this path. One on this two of wands reversed for Capricorn. Five of swords. This was the avoidable argument. All or nothing. Impoverished. Needy. Drained. I think you left with nothing. You have to start over. You didn't get what you wanted. Or you left with everything and still didn't get what you wanted. Seven of coins reverse. Impatience. Your own impatience is what led you to here. And how you deal with it now is how this unfinished business plays out. Let's get your advice. Don't give up. Don't give up. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep striving. It's right around the corner. Happiness is right around the corner. Don't give up because something didn't go your way. Two of swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. This requires clarity. Knight of cups reversed. Knight of swords reversed. Death in the tower. The emperor and the nine of swords reversed. You need to maintain mental control. You, you got to get a hold on your on your um, on your headspace and how you view this. Change is coming one way or another. Death and the tower. One way or another, it's coming. So we got a world. With a fortune in the upright and the reverse, death in the tower. Change is coming whether you like it or not. You are being led down a path that you don't want to go down, but you got to go down it. You can't control that. There's certain things in your life that you do not have any kind of control over. It is called divine intervention. The universe does not care if you like it or not. You are being protected. If you fight against the wind, and you try to go down that path, you, no, you will be stopped. You will be stopped. Do not fight divine intervention. Just let it flow. Don't overthink this. Sometimes you just got to take your hands off the wheel. Don't overthink this. I know you want to be the emperor. I get it. You want, you want to control everything? You can't. You have to take your hands off the wheel. Don't fight the wind, man. Just enjoy the ride. 
four of wands reversed at the bottom of the deck, or you call in your own instability. Stability is coming, but you need to go down this path and do what you got to do first. Weird read, Capricorn. Weird read. Weird read. Taurus. Two more. The full reversed, the King of Cups in the upright. Lack of trust. Your ability to show emotion. Okay. The Queen of Wands, the disc, the moving on, the disconnect. Why is it happening? Page of Swords, Page of Cups reversed, Eight of Wands. Phew! That's a quick turnaround. Super quick turnaround. World reversed. Two of swords. Closure. There's something in my roof. I hear it. <laughs> Probably a bird or something. There's egg horns all over my yard. <clears throat> um, and all over my roof. I think the squirrels are having a good time up there. Um, hmm. Very interesting. It was very sudden, very sudden, very abrupt. Sometimes the Page of Swords delivers news we don't want to hear. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. reversed. High Priestess. Secrets. Lack of happiness. One more. Shaking of the foundation, the three of pentacles in the reverse. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. High Priestess speaks of secrets.
strength reversed. Somebody's drained. Somebody's not happy. Somebody's drained. His foundations have been shaken. Could be secrets. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Five of Wands, Three of Wands, the Empress. This involves a marriage. Avoidance of conflict, waiting, Empress, one more. Temperance reverse negative energy, Sagittarius energy in the reverse. Lack of flow, things aren't flowing properly. See how the water's coming out of those cups. Things aren't flowing right. I think somebody's just walking around in eggshells trying to avoid conflict, possibly waiting for the right time to bring something up. Before I address this, I want to address this. One on this cluster, please. Five of Swords. A avoidable argument. Battle on the beach. Someone leaves with everything. Someone leaves with nothing. Two swords up. Three swords on the ground. Okay. You showed yourselves you got dropped. Nine of cups reversed. Nine of wands reversed. Thrown in the towel. People aren't happy. This happened quickly. This happened abruptly. No expressions of love, expressions of truth. <sighs> Throwing it at the towel. Oh my God, okay. You don't trust the person you're dealing with. The challenge is loving them anyway. One on this King of Cups. It's reversed. That's why. One on the King of Cups reversed. Someone's emotionally aloof. I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody's emotionally aloof. Knight of Swords. Speaking the truth and only the truth. Loving them anyway. Three of Cups. Why is Three of Cups reversed? King of Wands. More Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Nine of Coins disconnecting. Moving forward, hell or high water, independence. Oh my god. The magician manifesting new things. Unfinished business at the end of the week, the world reversed. The make or break of the week is making a decision with clarity. When you make a decision with clarity, there's not a whole hell of a lot involved. You don't make it with emotion. You make it with clarity. That is knowing the facts of the matter and using the facts of the matter to make a decision.
lack of emotion. Lack of emotion. Truth and only the truth. Damn. Why is the world reversed here? Three of swords reversed. Ace of wands reversed showed itself to me and putting the rest back. There's unfinished business here. You don't want to break somebody's heart. You don't want to end something. Star reversed, but something hasn't healed that needs to. Something is not healed that needs to. Oh, Taurus. Get your advice. Ace of Wands upright, two of Wands reversed. <clears throat> you need to decide what you want and what path you want to take. Knight of Swords, Empress reversed. Be honest with yourself about what's about your own personal growth. Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Some of you may want to wait this out. You need to make this decision with clarity. I don't think this is something you need to go all half-cocked about. Tower reversed. I don't like that tower. Some towers are good because they move things out of your life that don't need to be there. I feel like this is avoidable with this Five of Swords. I feel like this is about how you approach it. Hierophant reversed, page of cups. Three of cups reversed, full reversed. Four of coins and the wheel of fortune. It's very hard to stay with someone that you can't trust. And sometimes we hold on and we don't want to let go because we do love someone. But if that love isn't reciprocated, sometimes we just need to, oh my gosh, sometimes we just need to go where the wind takes us. The devil. Jesus. Hmm. I, whatever toxic crap has like... weaseled its way into this connection needs to be needs to be cast out. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened, but I feel like this was totally avoidable. Somebody's doing some toxic shit here. And I think y'all need to sit down and have an honest conversation. And you need to make a decision with clarity. I'm not going to say that this can't be helped. Because I think it can. But somebody needs to stop doing whatever they're doing. I don't think it's you, Taurus. I think it's the other person. 
I don't point fingers at anybody, but there's things happening here that should not be happening. I'm going to put it that way. All right. We're going to read Virgo and we're going to call it. Whew. I may only get to one today. I have to get ready to go take pictures for the channel. All right. Virgo, 286. All right, Virgo. Nine of Cups reversed. The challenge is the Six of Swords. Lack of happiness. Your ability to move on. High Priestess reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. King of Swords. You're cutting something out of your life. Damaged egos. Seeds that didn't grow. Why is it all happening? The Five of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And the Hanged Man reversed. You got all consumed by something. You wanted it so bad. It was all or nothing. And it consumed you. And I feel like that's why you're not happy. Now I don't feel like you got it. There's a damaged ego here. It's the seed that didn't grow. Conclusion for the week is the Eight of Pentacles and Justice in the Upright. So read... Deciding what you're going to put your energy into and what's going to give you balance. All right, let's get some clarity. Tired. I don't think I'm doing the cusp baby all signs today. <laughs> I think I might have to put that out for tomorrow morning. <sighs> A little bit drained. Okay. Why is the high priestess reversed here? The moon secrets coming out, things coming to light. Wounded egos, or the fortune reversed. The it feels unfinished. The path's illuminated. You know what you want to do. You know what you have to do. The tower, but the tower's already fallen. You're rising up out of the ashes of the tower with a wounded ego knowing now what you have to do or what you should have done, the business is unfinished. I think you're still very much hung up on this.
Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles reversed, Emperor reversed. You have zero control over whether this seed grows or not, and it bothers you. It bothers you. reversed the tower your hands are tied there's nothing you can do and you're not thrilled about that <laughs> you're not thrilled about that the challenge is forward movement so let's cut to the chase here you didn't get what you wanted it was all or nothing it consumed you you stayed hung up on it one on this cluster please just one Okay, I'll take two. Ace of Cups reversed, two of Wands. You were left with no other option but to let go and move on. And you didn't want to. King of Swords, one on this King of Swords. Eight of Cups reversed. Six of Swords. You have to move on. Completely ignoring the emotions that go along with it and just leaving your heart guarded is not moving on. That's not allowing good things to come in. That's not allowing self-happiness. Seven of Cups reverse that. That's only the confusion that puts you back into this Nine of Swords. Do you see? It's like... It's like a vicious cycle. Virgo, you got to get out of the cycle. You have to allow balance to be restored. It's all about how you look at it. You have to cut the BS out to restore balance. And part of the BS is, is I'm sorry, it's self-imposed. You didn't get what you wanted. You have, to, you have to move forward at some point. You have to put your energy into other things and move forward. If you want to find self-happiness and self-love. I'm not going to beat this dead horse anymore. Sun reversed. Ten of Wands. You will never find happiness until you release this burden. Ten of Swords reversed. Three of Swords. You have to let go of the heartbreak. You have to allow the sun to shine again. Three of Pentacles reversed. Strength reversed. If you're drained and you can't rebuild yet, that's fine. It takes time. Give yourself the necessary time. But don't lay in it. Don't lay in it. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Don't lay in the sadness empress death growth comes with change growth comes with the allowance of change it comes with the moving on death cycles are not easy they suck but you got to do it Nine of coins reversed and the Hierophant reversed. Codependence is a very slippery slope. And it's a hard life lesson learned. If you want something solid and stable, you have to be ready for it. And in order to get ready for it, you have to get to a place of independence before you can match up well with someone else. King of Coins and sorry, King of Cups, Five of Wands reversed. You can't just avoid conflict with someone and keep your emotions inside. Kid, that's not helpful either. Six of Coins. Everything has got to be equal give and take. Everything has to be balanced. And that is also what you put out into the universe versus what you get back. If you keep doing this self-defeating energy shit, that's all you're going to get back out of the universe. All right, guys, this has been your weekly read. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you next time. Okay? See you next week, guys.